Superman v. Batman, Dawn of Justice, short movie review. People are trying to figure out what they think of Superman. Is he too dangerous or is does he do enough to help? Batman has completely flipped out and is determined to find some way to stop him. And that's about it. There's There are a bunch of things that happen in the movie, but ultimately it really does boil down to the two costume people are gonna fight. I didn't really not want this movie to fail and I will say there are definitely good things about it. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor is great. He can be really irritating but he does a really solid job. He creates a a genuinely terrifying, effectively manipulating, at times charming, clearly, fiercely intelligent Lex Luthor. And he's probably the best part of the film. There's very little of either hero and... I mean, it's not a huge surprise that the two don't spend that much time fighting. You can't build a whole movie, you know, out of that. But, yeah, you just, you don't get to see, I mean, it's a, it's a movie of two hours and 25 minutes, and it's just, there's so much that happens that you just don't really care about, and it's too convoluted for its own good, it has way too many things and it's just yeah you don't you don't have a lot of superman doing heroic stuff you don't have a lot of batman fighting crime and and you know when when you finally do get to the climax the you know the climax itself is is pretty cool the the fight between the the two is fine and they're definitely there are elements along the way that work. I like Ben Affleck's Batman. I don't buy that people don't immediately see through his Bruce Wayne, but you know, the same thing for Henry Cavill's Clark Kent. The 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 alter egos are really not separate much at all. They they act and speak almost the exact same way. They just Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of really tasteless... I mean, the the first one did the whole 9-11 porn. This one does more of that, but then also adds in Katrina porn and other... And it's just... Zack Snyder is clearly... There are times where he's clearly, like, loving this... You know, he, he really wants to make this Superman the, the best thing in the world and really wants to make this Batman the best thing in the world. But it just, it's, it ends up disjointed and yeah, there's just, there's a lot of the movie where we don't care and I don't think he really did either. It, it's, it's way too determined to be serious and realistic and it, it's not that much fun. I hate to say it, but I I'm not sure that the the JLA will particularly maybe it will survive this, but I can I can imagine that a lot of people are going to hate this movie. And yeah, I I mean Man of Steel was div divisive but it still definitely had a lot of people who really love it and really def defend it. And I'm not sure this is going to have the same. A lot of people are going to want to. I want to. But I'm not sure a lot of people, at the end of the day, are really going to say that this was, you know, a worthwhile movie. And, yeah. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. 
please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.